Hey everybody, we are going to look at something that is pretty new. It's being talked about online, but it's so awesome. It's the new IDAM protocol for OS X and iOS. What this is, and this is, I'm going to show you these slides. These are from the developers conference this past summer, where they actually broke down the new things in audio in one of the workshops. The bottom there you can see the inter-device audio mode, IDAM. That's been around for a little while. And it's been around, I think, since El Capitan. Actually, it says right here, available since El Capitan and iOS 9. So that means you could plug in your iOS device that if it had iOS 9 on it, and it would show up in your computer as an audio input. Pretty awesome. So it's been around for a little while. What they did this summer was change this from inter-device audio mode to inter device audio plus MIDI. So it's still IDAM and it still connects the audio, but now it gives you MIDI over that same connection. And you have to have iOS 11. You can still go back a couple Mac OS's, but you have to have at least iOS 11 to make this work. So let's actually look at this. So here's my audio MIDI setup. If you don't know about this, which if you're a Logic user, you probably do, but just in case you're new, it's under here, inside your settings, and then Windows, you might just have the audio device showing up, but you can show MIDI Studio, you can also show the network device browser, if you have a device that works with the AVB anyway. So... What we do is we come in here, once your phone or iPad is connected to your computer with the actual lightning cable, you click enable, and now audio from that device will be fed into your computer. This can be into Logic, it can be into GarageBand, Pro Tools, any of them. It can act as anything that can accept an audio unit interface, this can be an input with you can see now shows up over here in the MIDI studio as well. So we'll look at that in just a second. With the audio, this is really cool. Once it's enabled, you'll see it shows up here in the list, which means if we create a new aggregate device, say I want to have input of a microphone and my phone. In addition to the aggregate, we can also come over here and actually use MIDI. So now MIDI's going out to the device and that is pretty awesome because it means we don't have to worry about Bluetooth MIDI or network MIDI or the camera connector or anything. We just now have MIDI straight over our lightning cable. Awesome. So what does this look like when you double click on it? You can change the name. You can change the icon. We have a lot of the same basic things that we would have for anything in terms of what channels can transmit. Do we want to do MIDI beat clock, MIDI time code? It is MIDI. It's the same protocol as USB MIDI, so it's not a new type of MIDI. It's just going in a different way, a little bit more streamlined using the audio MIDI setup. So now, if we want, let's open up Logic here for a second and just look how this looks inside there and I'm gonna start a screen capture on my phone as well start recording that way you can see what's on the iPhone screen too GarageBand just a new empty project that's fine let's just create software instrument for now so what we want to do let's actually create a MIDI external MIDI track for a second and with this we can in the library send this out channel 1 to the phone now inside here in order to hear this we need to go into our audio settings. You can see that it's not, here, let's see, input device, iPhone, right there. Apply changes. 
Let's go to this channel here. That's sending MIDI out. That's good. On the instrument now, we make sure we have audio or MIDI going out. On the actual instrument channel, let's come in here and do the external instrument. So MIDI destination would be the iPhone. The input would be one and two. You don't see the keyboard working on the iPhone. But it's definitely there. So let's get it in the same octave. Okay, so now we can set up all of our instruments inside iOS to integrate really tightly inside Logic. It's a great way to work, requires the iOS device and the cable connected to the computer, but that's it. No other cables, anything. So we can look at how we can integrate a bunch of different instruments here, but this is rock solid. It's working, it doesn't have a lot of glitches or any kind of delays, doesn't have any breakup of the sound. It's just as if we're playing it on the actual iOS device in GarageBand, but it's in Logic. Okay. Just wanted to look at how this was working. More to come on this in the future.